Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about Species. Um, it stars Natasha Henstridge and <coughs> it's a sci-fi alien movie series. Um, it consists of four movies so far. Um, the first and it's really, 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 um, the first two were made with such really good quality and everything, um, and it's very scientific and alien-y and, um, you know, it was really, really good. And it had the one woman from, I think, Sierra, uh, CSI or something like that, one of the CSIs, um, and had the other guy from Fr the Free Willy series, and, like, th they had so many, they had Ben Kingsley in it, which was really good, um, he is such an incredible actor, so it had so many, Forrest Whitaker, anyway, had so many great actors in the first two movies, and um, you know the story was progressive from one to two and such. And anyway, um, so in the first one, the alien's name was Syl, and in the second one, her name was Eve. Well, um, those ones were theatrically released. Um, so obviously they were done with different quality. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Been a long week. Anyway, um, so it's a very sci-fi, alien-y, um, I know a lot of guys like it because there's lots of nudity and all that good stuff, but it actually does have a story to it, um, and... Like, each one is really progressive. Um, and the third one is a continuation of the first two. The fourth one is really the only one that branches off and does its own thing. Um, but it still mentions the other ones. So, anyway, the first two are really good. Like, the first one is really, really good. The second one was really good. The third one... was, I want to say crappy, but the, the third one was, um, okay, um, and it continued the story of the first two, but it just seemed, because of the way that they took it, it just seemed really out of place in connection with the first two, because the first two were theatrically released, they had the budget, they had more going on, um, the third one was severely condensed in comparison, in my opinion, and, um, the alien design was really watered down in comparison to the first two, um, so, the third one really put me off. Um, really, in comparison, I mean, I still watch it, I still find it entertaining and everything, and it does have its moments, but in comparison with the first two, I, uh, I watched the first two way more. Um, <clears throat> I do believe that they rebounded with the fourth one, because even though the fourth one <sighs> Even though the first one or the fourth one was released um, direct to DVD and everything, just like the third one, it seems like they did more with their budget, um, and the alien design was way cooler than the third one. Um, even though they didn't truly go back to the first two, they did at least resemble the first two. Um, and there was a lot more alien graphics and everything going on, so it was so much better than the third one. Um, 
like I said, it really didn't continue with the third one because the third one was kind of, um, even with the acting in some parts of the third one. The fourth one was so much better. Um, I still don't think that it's up to par with the first two, but they did really well with what they were given, um, budget-wise and and all of that stuff. They really worked better with what they were given than the third one. Um, <clears throat> like I said, they are very highly entertaining. Um, now I guess they're considered sci-fi originals, which especially in comparison to the rest of what sci-fi has going on with the Sharknado series and everything, they suck. Um, this one, these movies do not like that. Okay, so, um, so ne no need to worry about any comparison whatsoever. Even the third species movie was way better than, and way more entertaining than any of the shark movies, or Sharknado movies. Um, so there's no need to even worry about that. Um, <clears throat> I really... I think that it would be cool if, um, well, I think that it'd be cool if they did, if they could, if they could pull it off, I think that it would be cool if they did a TV series versus continuing a movie series, because, like, nowadays, I think the last Species movie was, like, 2007 or something, um, which was well over 10 years ago, and even direct-to-DVD movies have improved since then. So, well, in some cases, depending on who the creators and everything behind everything is. But anyway, um, I think that if it was done intelligently um, and passionately, I do think that a TV series could work out better. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section about how you feel about that um just like they did with the purge series um they turned into a, they went from blockbuster movies to a tv show they're still doing the blockbuster movies and they're doing the tv show so maybe this uh, maybe a tv show in the future could boost the popularity of the franchise and they could do more or maybe even a reboot of the species franchise franchise would be you know good because um, there's so much better technology nowadays, even on such a low budget, on a low budget scale, people would work better with the resources that they're given than they used to, um, depending on who the creators are, again, um, <clears throat> but like, they gotta hammer it out. They can't just sit on it and wait and maybe this and maybe that. They just gotta take a risk and do it. Because I really think that uh, this franchise had so much potential. Like, obviously, the second one hinted that um, they, the alien species touched down on Mars and destroyed the life on it because they're kind of parasitic and everything. So that's really cool. That's really interesting. It's new information. Um, and, and it makes sense because that's the way that they act on Earth with, um, intermingling with humans and everything. So, and these are very predatorial creatures. These are, you know, so it all makes sense. It, it was all good and everything. And I think that they could have done so much more. There was so much potential there and they should have ran with it. They should run with it. Um, they should reboot it anyway. Maybe even a soft re reboot. I mean, Natasha Hedgehog is still young enough and beautiful and everything. Even if she was older, that'd be perfectly fine because people um, are too. They're like ageist and everything. Like they're they're against people aging and everything which is so ridiculous and stupid it's literally human nature um but anyway getting off on this rant and and everything um so the series started out really great it had a tick up 
it got back on track, but completely separate from the story. And I just really feel like there should be a, free, a future for this franchise because it was going strong. It did go strong. And I, I think that they could have done more. I think writers now could do more with it because there's just so much... The world is a lot, a much different place than it was back in the late 90s, early 2000s. It is a much different place. And I think that they, that there's so much potential to go and touch upon different things and everything. And I think that they should. Because this that's what the series is, is potential. Um, so, yeah. I thought that the alien special effects in the first two, the prosthetics and everything were absolutely excellent. Um, like I said, the third one. The third one, the alien, well, the pure-blooded alien. Okay, so there's a pure-blooded alien, and then there's the half-breeds. The half-breeds really sucked in design and everything. And the, the full-breed, um, or the pure-breed one was... I, I, I really actually liked her design. Um, I thought that she was cool. Um, but I, I loved the, the fourth one way better than the, the third one. In everything. The story, the acting, the, the alien design, special effects, the whole nine yards. So, um, let me know what you guys think if you've seen them. If you haven't, you should. They are good movies. They are entertaining for the guys. The guys will love them either anyway because it shows nudity and stuff like that. But for the ones that actually love story and everything, you'll actually like, you have something there for you. So, you know, if you like my review on these movies and everything, make sure that you um, like this video. Comment how you feel, what you would have done differently, um, what you would like to see, and subscribe to my channel, okay? Have a great day, guys.